I just bought this Fitbit Blaze a couple of days ago. Uh, so this video ain't gonna be a review of Fitbit Blaze because there are countless of uh, video reviews on YouTube out there. So uh, you might want to check that out if uh, if you're interested in knowing all the features that this uh, fitness tracker can do. So this is actually a signature of 2016 and I bought it in 2018. So um, you might still uh, be able to leave if you've came if you've come here to to see a review of a Fitbit Blaze. But actually, I suggest you don't because this. Uh, this might get interesting. So um, what this video is, is actually uh, one of my first experiments uh, with this uh, fitness tracker. So this is actually first a fitness tracker and uh, then you could say it has a couple of smart features. Um, so let me just uh, mention the few uh, things, a couple of uh, like a couple of things that it can do. First, it can measure your step count, so uh, it acts as a pedometer. Then uh, you can log your exercises with it. It has a feature to automatically detect the type of exercise you're doing, like uh, running, um, indoor cycling, outdoor cycling. Um, you can also track like uh, weightlifting, circuit training, like CrossFit. Um, and other types of exercises. So um, aside of that, probably the few features that I got it for were uh, the continuous heart rate monitor, which is, uh, uh, I guess, I'm not really sure, but I guess they have a, uh, it's called a pulse something uh, uh, rate. Uh, and from what I know, it is an invention of uh, a, a technology of Fitbit. So it continuously monitors your heart rate, which is good if, you, if you're tracking your heart rate variability. And uh, the feature that we're gonna talk about today is uh, that it can track your sleep. So to be more specific, uh, this video is gonna be about how uh, alcohol impacted my sleep. Okay, so let's start. Uh, we know that uh, there are a couple of uh, stages that uh, our sleep is composed of. We know that there's deep sleep, we know that there's REM sleep, uh, we know that there's light sleep. And during a night we cycle through these stages a couple of times. Um, so last uh, week, uh, last Saturday to be more sp uh, precise, um, I had a couple of drinks, so uh, I don't know, maybe a serious drinker would be ashamed with uh, what I did uh, because, I don't know, I kind of felt uh, dizzy from just uh, like 150 milliliters of whiskey, which is about five ounces. So that got to my head, but I wasn't drunk, I, I just felt dizzy from uh, that amount of alcohol, that small amount of alcohol uh, drank over the course of, I would say, four or five hours. So um, I wore uh, the, the Fitbit Blaze all the time. Uh, so I kind of went to sleep at about, I guess, 2.30 in the morning. And I slept for about uh, five hours uh, or so. Uh, and when I woke up, I, I checked the statistics of, uh, of my sleep. So uh, we're gonna go into my phone now and see how that went. Before we start, I just want to mention that uh, it's kind of amazing the times we live in today. Just a couple of years ago, you'd have to actually go to a research clinic if you'd want to do this type of uh, sleep research stuff. So you'd go to a research clinic if you'd be participating as a subject in a, res in a sleep uh, research experiment. And uh, uh, researchers would actually equip you with all sorts of sensors and the devices and then you'd probably uh, have to try to sleep with all those devices on and if uh, luckily you'd be able to go through that torture over the course of a night or several nights you would be able to have some insight uh, um, of your of the way you've slept and it's kind of amazing that now we can do this with just um, just a watch just a fitness tracker or a smartwatch 
and uh, a mobile phone with an application like uh, this one, uh, this Fitbit one. So um, the this is actually this Saturday. Uh, this is the night that I've been drinking alcohol and then slept. So let's look at it. Uh, probably the highlight of this video is the little time I spent in deep sleep. And we know that deep sleep is really, really important for, uh, for our health. So as you can see, the time that I was asleep was 5 hours and 27 minutes. And uh, before getting deeper into this, I kind of uh, have to say that we often think that uh, some amount of alcohol helps us uh, sleep better, but that's actually not the case. It might help us uh, fall asleep faster, but it definitely doesn't improve the quality of our sleep. So as you can see, I've spent a ridiculously small amount of time in deep sleep. I guess maybe, let's see, maybe 2%. Deep sleep, 4%, as you can see over here. So as I went to sleep, uh, it was only immediately after I went to sleep that I had about 15 minutes of deep sleep, which is, which is ridiculous. And I fell asleep quite uh, quite easily. And then, as you can see over here, I was awake for 42 minutes. So 11% of my sleep uh, uh, was spent actually awake. And then I spent 20% in REM sleep, and uh, so rapid eye movement, and 65% in light sleep. Okay, so that's how my sleep looked like. So just that small amount of alcohol impacted uh this significantly the way I sleep so we can go into the app and actually see uh, they they kind of explain over here uh, so if we click on awake we can see over here you are awake for 42 minutes blah 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 and they kind of give you an explanation of uh, what this means and if I go to RAM it says uh, uh, relevant uh, information for my RAM sleep over that night if I go to light, the same thing. And if I go to sleep, the same thing. Okay, so um, we can, if we look at the benchmark, it says ranges for men your age. So deep sleep is 12 to 23%. I was only 4% deep sleep. Light, I uh, kind of was in the range for light sleep. Um, awake. I was in the range for, I guess, uh, awake, and I was also in the range for REM. But this uh, kind of deeply impacted my sleep. So this was probably the first experiment. I'm not going to make any conclusions out of it. I'm just take it as it is. And I'm actually going to try. And uh, whenever I have the occasion, I'm not, I'm not a frequent drinker, but whenever I drink, I'll make sure that uh, all uh, that the watch is up and running and the app is also up and running. So if we go and look at Sunday, um, now which was the day after, uh, we can see that uh, statistics are much, they look much different. So over here I spent 16%, so four times as much in deep sleep. 52% in light sleep, 24% in REM sleep, and I was only awake for 34 minutes. And if we go to benchmark, we can see that we are in the ranges, so we are in the averages for, uh, for people of my age. And this wasn't uh, even a good night of sleep, so I would say 6 hours and 41 minutes, but it was better than the last one. A couple of things that I want to probably the most important thing that I would like in this and I hope that they they actually uh, they actually uh, release with future updates um, is uh, to show you how many times you've cycled through these uh, stages as you can see over here it says at night your body cycles through different different sleep stages it moves from light to deep back to light then into REM uh, so this is actually a one sleep cycle so light to deep to light to REM that's actually a sleep cycle and usually we go we have about four to five cycles that would be a good night of sleep of four to five cycles and also 
they don't uh, have uh, they don't have the ability to log your dreams so I would like to see just a small button that would uh, give you the uh, ability or the functionality to to edit or just add a small note if you've uh, had like uh, good dreams, bad dreams, nightmares and all that sorts of stuff. Okay, so I guess this is it. This was the first experiment uh, with uh, sleep and the Fitbit Blaze. Looking forward to do more experiments. If you're interested into that, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date for whenever I post new videos. And I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.